Good having me here today. Yes, very important subject. Let's talk about some of the signs, first of all, that your teenager may be thinking mm -hmm. of suicide. Mm -hmm. Thanks, that's, that's a great question. Mm -hmm. uh, teen suicide is a serious and challenging problem. Um, teens considering suicide oftentimes will present with warning signs, even if they cannot directly ask for help. And so, so what are these warning signs? Mm -hmm. Teens become irritable, agitated, anxious. They will um, oftentimes become more depressed. They will express feelings of hopelessness, mm. worthlessness, self-guilt. They will talk about death, dying. Yeah. Uh, they have changes in sleep, appetite. They will oftentimes um, lose interest in things they mm -hmm. used to enjoy. They will even write suicide notes, which puts them at high risk for suicide. Yeah, for actually taking action. And, you know, Jen and I were talking about this. Mm -hmm. She has a teenager, I have a preteen. Mm -hmm. A lot of times, I think in the culture of teenagers, they think it's fun. They may not be serious, but they say things like, I want to kill myself, mm -hmm. or they'll tell their friends, go kill yourself. How do we kind of get them away from that language? Because there's power in words. There is power in words, and we, we take things very seriously. Mm -hmm. A parent or uh, an adult um, uh, who learns of this um, and, is, uh, and discovers this uh, can, can find out that um, and uh, should ask if, uh, and, and ask if they're expressing suicidal thoughts and ask them what they mean by that and get the teen's perspective mm -hmm. and ask in a very non-judgmental way right. so that they can get them to help. Yeah. And you work with teenagers mm -hmm. uh, often who be dealing with this mm -hmm. type of issue. Yes. What are some of the things they say to you? Uh, oftentimes they are in stress and they are in stress with uh, common life stressors and they're looking for ways to find help and they find no other way to get out of their difficulties and they're looking for uh, support, encouragement mm -hmm. and getting ways and getting them and identifying their underlying mm -hmm. um, difficulties and getting them the best help as quick as possible. Okay, and we want to put up a graphic here yeah. of some of the warning signs, um, but I want you to talk with us about there is hope out there. Correct? There is a lot of hope out there. If a teen has suicidal thoughts and an adult, and an adult or um, uh, a parent feels that they're unsafe, obviously take them to the ER, call 911. Uh, we have uh, a resource uh, in Montgomery County where there were two recent suicides, uh, be the one.org. Mm. Uh, it's led in part by FamilyServices.org. Um, they can call the um, crisis service uh, uh, line at, at the Shepherd Path Health System. Okay. Uh, it's 410-938-4357. They can uh, make a crisis uh, line app appointment yeah. uh, from Monday to Friday, 8.15 8 to 4.30 p.m. There is a national suicide hotline. Yes. There are many resources there. They can learn about suicide prevention. Yeah. There is hope out there. Yes. We are here, and we will be here for you. Well, thank you, Dr. Ben thank Borja, you. offering a lot of hope. Thank you so much. And again, and thanks for having me here. Yeah.